Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today we're talking about a new collaboration between Lethal Cosmetics and Teresa is Dead. Just full disclosure, I always like to make this known really early on in the video if I'm reviewing something that was created by a friend of mine and I do consider Teresa to be a friend so just take that into consideration. I am predisposed to be excited about this. That doesn't mean that I would ever be dishonest in a review. You know, I just want to put that out there. This collection was sent to me in PR and all of this stuff is currently available. I am going to do a little swatch and close up kind of mini reviews. But what I really want to focus on are some looks with this palette because I think that this color story is very unusual and unique in a good way. But I do think that for a lot of folks, this type of color palette, especially when it's a lot of different colors in a very small format, like a nine pan, I do think that it could be a little overwhelming, maybe a little intimidating to create looks with this palette. But I've come up with some really, really beautiful looks that I find to be both unique and wearable. So I am going to focus on two different eyeshadow tutorials with this Teresa is Lethal palette. But first let's talk about some of the other products in this collection. We do have four different cheek products. So let's take a look at these first. The first two shades I'm going to show you here, Eviscerate and Moon Rock, are called highlighters. And then the second two that you'll see, Plan 9 and Cryostasis, are labeled as face powders. So not only do these have different finishes, which you'll be able to tell from the swatches, but these also have different price points. So the highlighters are priced at 20 US dollars a piece, and then the face powders are 15.50 a piece. And you can see here the highlighters are just really shimmery, and the face powders are more of a satiny finish, not quite matte, but definitely not sparkly like the highlighters. We also have a couple of gel liners. If you've been around this channel for a while, you know Eyeliner is not really my thing personal style wise, but I do want to show you these liners and a couple of swatches as well. These are the two side FX gel liners. They're priced at $15.50 US a piece. And you can see here there are two really bright bold shades. Galactic Goo is a metallic emerald green. And then we have this really deep, almost rusty red, but it's still a very primary red called Harvested. I'm not a huge gel liner girl, but these have great staying power. Last up, we have the Teresa is Lethal palette. This little play on words in the palette title is so cute to me. Her first collaboration with Lethal Cosmetics was called Lethal is Dead, and now Teresa is Lethal. I just think this is so cute. And you know, I'm hoping for round three, so I'm curious to see what little play on words they're going to be able to come up with for a third collaboration. So fingers crossed that that will happen next year. First, let's take a close-up look at the palette and a couple of finger and brush swatches. I also want to show you this palette swatched side by side with her previous Lethal palette. So let's get into the palette info now. Here's a look at the outer packaging. This palette is priced at $39 and it does have the little slide off sleeve. I love the artwork on this one. It matches the palette color so well too. It's just really perfect. There is a little mirror inside this palette and then we have six matte shadows and three shimmer shadows. This palette is labeled as 100% cruelty-free and vegan. Here are the swatches, finger swatches on top, brush swatches below. These swatch beautifully. All of these shades are so consistent across the board and also very consistent with previous lethal shadows. So very happy with the overall formulas and performance here. Now I want to show you a side by side with the previous palette. There are a couple shades that are kind of similar, but overall I feel like these just go really well together. It seems to me like the 
green on the end there is the only one that seems decently close. Otherwise, these just seem like perfectly complementary palettes. I love the way these work together and I like how this new palette is bringing a little bit more depth to the overall color story. These two palettes work together really cohesively and they definitely seem like sisters. Lastly, I want to show you two different eye looks using this Teresa is Lethal palette. Between my two looks, I used almost every single eyeshadow in this palette. The only one that I didn't grab is this bright green called Venus Envy, but you will get to see eight out of the nine shades in this palette in action during these two eye looks. So let's jump into some tutorials. Before I get into the eyeshadow looks, I want to show you one of the cheek products in action as well. So I'm using the face powder called Plan 9. This is a satiny pink with a little bit of silver sparkle and it's just the perfect one and done cheek color for me. It's my favorite of the face powders. So I've been wearing this one quite a bit lately and I just love the little sheen. It's the perfect color. You could build it up for a more dramatic cheek look if that's what you wanted, but I really wanted the eyeshadow to be the star of the show. So of course I have to prime my lids first with my ColourPop Party Proof Primer. You've probably seen me do this about a million, gajillion, billion approximately times in the past year. Then I'm gonna use this Area 52 shade. It's sort of like a grayish neutral as my transition color. I want to do a really bold lid look, but I wanna try to keep a lot of that pop of color on just my eyelid that way it's sort of like a little peekaboo and then when I blink or you know am viewed from the side you can see that bold pop of color I like this as a way to make colors that I'm not quite as comfortable with more wearable for my everyday so I first packed that space duster shade the slate blue gray color all over the inner half of my lid then I'm going to cover the outer half of my lid with Specimen 3, which is this deep jewel-toned turquoise color. Then I'm gently blending the edges, but I'm trying not to pull that color up above the crease area. I really want to keep all of the color contained on the actual lid. And now I'm using one of my favorite shades in the palette. This is Space Trash. It's a blue, but it has this pink shift, and it's just subtle and bright at the same time. I really love it. So I just gently tapped that shimmer shade over the center of the lid to sort of blend those two bold matte shades together. Then I'm doing just the tiniest bit of color on the lower lash line to add a little bit of balance. Curled my lashes and added some of my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. This is one of my favorite ways to wear blue shadow in particular. I love that this is still a really blue turquoise forward look, but it's not super in your face and it still has that little bit of neutral to balance it out. This feels subtle but also like a fun surprise of color and I don't feel like Mimi from the Drew Carey show. I'm probably aging myself with that reference but if you know then you know. I think the unique undertones in these colors just make me drawn to this blue and turquoise that I'm not usually drawn to. I don't usually love blue and I really love this look. I see it being wearable anytime for me. Now we're moving on to the eyeshadow look that you saw me wearing in the beginning talking portions. So of course, priming my lids first, then I'm gonna use this beautiful pinky lilac matte shade. I love how well this performs. I used a big fluffy brush because unlike the first look, I'm going for a really blown out color here. I just wanted to do a very different type of look but still stay in what I would normally wear. So next I'm taking this deep purple matte shade. I love this color. It stays so purple on the lids. It doesn't look brown. It doesn't get so dark that it just looks like a regular black eyeshadow. It keeps that purple hue and it is so rich and beautiful. 
I only put that purple matte shade on the very, very outer, maybe one third, maybe one quarter of the lid. And then I'm filling in almost the rest of my lid with TV Dinner, which is another one of my favorite shades in this palette. It's a beautiful sparkly silver. And then I wanted just a little pop of surprise color. So I'm adding just the tiniest bit of Hive Mind, this pinky red. I went back to touch up a little bit of the dark purple just to make sure I wasn't losing any definition there. I wanted to make sure I had this high contrast depth on the outer part of the eye. And then I'm going for more of the silver. I can't stop using this shade. I put this along the lower lash line on like the inner half of my lower lash line and then added some of the purple shade on the outer half of my lower lash line. Then because I was really going for a lot more blended out color here, I used the pinky matte shade to just blend everything out and together, really adding more color extending off the lids for this look. Curled my lashes, added some mascara, and that's the finished second look with this palette. I really love how many different color combinations I can do with this one. I can use these same methods, these same eye look styles and swap in pretty much any of the colors and they just come together in such a surprising, unique, but still really approachable way. I've had tons of fun playing with this. The performance has been top notch, exactly what I expect from Lethal all around. Love, love this palette. This is such a cool, interesting, unique collection. It screams Teresa. It fits really, really well within the Lethal Cosmetics line. It makes sense. It's fun. It's totally different. All around, I think she just knocked it out of the park. I gotta say, I really liked the first palette, the Lethal is Dead palette. I think I actually like this one even more. I've been a big fan of Lethal Cosmetics. Actually, Teresa introduced me to the brand from watching her videos. So quality-wise, I've been a huge fan of Lethal for a long time, and I think that Teresa's take on colors and her creativity just matches so well with their existing style, with their existing formulas that are phenomenal. All in all, a great collection, a great collaboration. Personally, the palette is my favorite piece. Everything performs really well quality-wise. It's just for my own personal style, for what I like to wear and how I like to do my makeup. The palette really fits the best for me. So that's why this is my number one piece that I would recommend from the collection. But everything is really lovely. Congrats to Teresa. And I hope that we get to see a round three for Teresa and Lethal. Now's the time when I want to hear what you think about this collection. Have you picked anything up? Which one of my looks was your favorite? I always love to hear what you think about things too. So make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. That probably could be phrased in a way that made more sense. I'll work on it. Spoiler alert, it is really nice. Huh? 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 Does that, that also didn't make sense. I really gotta pull it together. This little lilac matte color is just so pretty. It's so flattering. And pastels can be tricky. They don't always look great once they're applied to the skin. A lot of pastels can be really chalky. And this one is not. This one is just so smooth and pretty and I love it. Why do I have the Mario theme song in my head? My dudes were just playing video games the other night, but they were playing Kirby, so I wouldn't have gotten it there. Got my little pumpkin earrings. I love these. I really thought that these little pumpkins would have sold out from my Etsy shop like that, but I still have several pairs left. I just think these little pumpkin beads are so stinking cute. I'm gonna wear these all the time. I've been wearing them since like August. I don't care. Pumpkins are cute all year. I don't care what what month it is, what season it is. You know what I'm saying? What? That didn't make sense. Ugh, I gotta get it together. Now for I, I was kind of going for this color with my matching nail game today. Didn't quite pull it off, but it kind of matches the packaging though. So we'll still call it a matching nail success. What are you, what, what? I forget what I was saying. <sighs>
my kid's school just called. He got hit in the head. I think he's fine. They let me talk to him. He's fine, but good times. All right, time to go get some editing done. Also, it is very nice out, so I think I'm going to take the little D-O-G-G-I-E on a W-A-L-K. I can't say that too loud because she'll freak out if she hears me. Although she's kind of snoring over there in her bed, so maybe not. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being so cool. And I hope you have a great day. And if you're not having a great day, then I hope that tomorrow's better. Just hang in there. You're doing your best. And that's all, that's all you can do. Okay, I love your face. Bye.